Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Taurus. Taurus, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. Also, if these messages resonate, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, ooh, all right. We've got the Ace of Cups coming out as your energy. All right, so some of my Taurus, you're feeling a sense of lack or loss when it comes to love or this relationship. It's, this is the need for some heart healing. And we have the Five of Pentacles. All right, how you're viewing your person. And the relationship, the Four of Swords. Okay. Your person is showing up as the Queen of Wands in reverse. They're viewing you as the Two of Cups in reverse, Taurus. And the connection as the Prince of Swords in reverse. Okay, there could be some gossip here around this connection. I can see you're both heartbroken or disappointed here. So we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. Look at all these sixes coming out. And we've got the Judgment card in reverse. Somebody may have misjudged the other person here. And the World card. So the World card, I kind of feel like this is about a connection that's coming full circle. Um, but something here absolutely has to end. And I feel like there's been a lot of gossip between or around this connection. The Judgment card can indicate, you know... Uh, um, you know, no second chances here as well. But the Six of Swords tells me that there's possibility. It's kind of a contradictory energy because at the heart of the reading, there's potential for coming back around. So let's see. And it could just be that for 50-50, right? Some of you, this is a connection coming back around. For others of you, you know, it's, it's time to close this chapter and move on. But let's see. Ace of Cups energy in reverse. Why are my Taurus in this energy of blocked heart chakra? missed opportunity when it comes to love and the judgment card in reverse. So my Taurus, this is your energy. Um, this is Scorpio and Aries energy, but um, this tells me that uh, there may be zero communication between you and this person. I think my Taurus, you are feeling like they're, like this connection is not going to come back around or that there are no second chances or that this is completely over. You're viewing your person as the five of pentacles, so you could either know that they're disappointed and alone and feeling left out in the cold, or they made you feel that way. Yeah, you, you see your person is holding back. For some of you, you feel your person's just really stubborn, um, and maybe it's sort of their turn to reach out. Maybe they're ignoring, you know, they, they're, you know, they're, they have you blocked or they're not talking to you at this time. Um, some of you, this person is working on on career and finance stuff as well um like that's where their focus or their attention is and you may feel Taurus that there's not enough room in their schedule for you the four of swords you see the connection okay so you see this connection as possibly a divine counterpart situation I'm getting strong Aries energy your person could be an Aries or have that in their chart but Taurus, you see that this connection can be healed, but I think there's a big part of you that's kind of feeling like not so sure. Like there's a big part of you that's like, you know what, maybe it's over. Maybe it's really over. Maybe this is never going to happen. I've got to shut this down. I've got to close the book on this. My person's holding back. They're making me wait. They're, they're leaving me out in the cold. So I feel like you're setting strong boundaries. You're not taking action right now. But then there's that part of you, Taurus, that's like, but we can do this. So let's see. Your person, Queen of Wands energy in reverse. And the Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, your person may owe you an apology. Maybe they're waiting for one. Um, but I feel like your person's very triggered. Okay, like I feel like this is somebody who, who maybe struggles with saying things that they don't mean like when they get angry so just be aware of that they may not be quite ready to move forward here Taurus but they're viewing you as the two of cups in reverse they're seeing you as a soulmate in separation yeah see I think your person has kept you waiting Taurus 
And that could be because they're not so sure what they want. It could be that they're very focused on their career. It could just be the way this person sort of, the way, you know, the way that they deal in relationships. Because that Queen of Wands energy in the Page of Cups tells me this person is most likely a bit impulsive and may sometimes say things that they don't really mean, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, right? Or not good or bad. I mean, it's not good to not say what you mean, but I mean, whether they say things that are, you know, worse than they really are, or they say things like that they think you want to hear. Prince of Swords energy in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. So your person, I think your person is waiting for you, Taurus, to reach out. I think they're waiting for you to come in and make it up to them. Um, so, I, you know, it, it depends on the situation, but I kind of don't love their energy because I feel like they want you to do all the work here. This may be somebody who's used to being indulged. The Six of Pentacles tells me there's potential for balance and making things up. Ooh, strength card, Leo energy in reverse, but I think it's your person's energy. I, I see that you're, you're in an energy here of self-doubt here, Taurus, about whether or not you can make things work. Yeah. <sighs> But I feel like it's your person who's really wish-washy, to be honest. I feel like they are kind of like, if Taurus comes in and does the work, you know, then I'll give it a chance. But I don't see them willing to do the work. And I think they know that you're waiting or they think that you're waiting. With the Six of Swords energy in reverse, there's possibility of this person coming back around. Hmm. But the Justice card, Libra energy in reverse. But I want you to be careful here, Taurus, because I am getting that there's strong feelings of like love and affection, but whatever has happened, a fight or an argument, or maybe you're starting to see a pattern in this person's behavior that you're the one that's sort of pulling their weight or you're the one that's always reaching out. You're the one that's always saying sorry. Um, and, and I feel like there's, there's a bit of an issue here. Absolutely. And I, I feel like this person isn't stepping up. And I want you to be aware of that because I think they want you to step up. They want you to do the work. There's something absolutely off balance here. The judgment card in reverse and the high priest of spirit saying, trust your intuition, Taurus. And some of you, you may have not been trusting your intuition and sort of giving them another chance, giving them another shot. And we get the nine of wands energy in reverse. Yeah. I feel this has been really exhausting. I think for those of my, my Taurus who are still sort of holding on to this connection, I do feel that it's important to set strong boundaries and that you're not the one that needs to take action. It feels like it's them. I don't know if they're going to though. I don't know if they have the strength, the courage, the stamina. The judgment card coming out twice tells me that you may have misjudged this person. You know, you may have seen this person as somebody that you wanted a future with. They may have even been talking about that because I do get that they have a tendency here to be disingenuous. And that is something you have to pay attention to. Nine of Wands energy in reverse tells me, Taurus, that this has been exhausting. You may be playing with fire here. Some of you, you've called it and you've ended things. This may be a confirmation reading here, Taurus, that that was the right decision because they're not put they're not putting in the they're not putting in the work. Eight of Pentacles energy in reverse and the Prince of Swords. It's like this person is, yeah, your person is blocked. They have a restraint. There's some sort of block here. There's something off balance. The Justice card in the middle, in reverse. Your your challenge or your lesson here is I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Some of you, you've been really worried that it would come to this. Some of you, you've been worried about this connection since the beginning or, or recently. And again, there's something to that. Trust your intuition. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. But again, I want you to be as self, you know, I want you to be as compassionate to yourself as you are to them. Yes, see both sides of the story, but I don't think your person's ready for this higher level of commitment or to offer you what you're looking for. Your person, their struggles. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Ooh, yeah. Okay. And we get imagination. So your person fears failure. And they may they may not put in the work because of that fear of failure. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. They could also have a very sort of active imagination here. But again, I, I'd be careful with that because I do feel that this person... Whether they recognize it or not, they do a bit of future faking. They may sort of have these lofty ideas and talk about the future with you, but I don't see them putting in the work. 
and we see adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn and that's coming out twice. I feel there have been a lot of challenges in this connection. I feel that you may have misjudged this person. They may have misjudged you, but I am getting a very strong message for a lot of my Taurus and I know you may not want to hear it, but set those strong boundaries and it may be time to close out this chapter, especially if you're starting to feel very drained. It feels like, you know, I, I, I'm getting like an off and on energy here. So we get spirit has your back, Taurus, and whatever it is you decide to do, 23 breaks down to a five. So definitely adversity in this connection. Um, spirit has a plan too. So believe in divine detours. Spirit may be putting a new soulmate on your path because I'm feeling like this person isn't ready. I don't think they're where you need them to be emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially, whatever it might be. And we get spider web, make your dreams real. Yeah, so this person, I feel, now they could have sort of tangled you up in a web of there could be gossip, there could be drama. I feel like my Taurus, you need to really prioritize peace. I also feel your person has a tendency, and I want you to look at this in other areas of their life, of dreaming about things and talking about things, but not following through. That's what I'm getting and we get overcome any obstacle. Okay, so do you feel your person with that rhino energy is a little bit stubborn? Um, I feel like they are determined and I think they can overcome anything, but I'm not so sure that you're the one that needs to be pulling their weight or you know propping them up while they do this. Um, it needs to be balanced. It needs to be both ways. And obviously when we love somebody and they go through a tough time, we want to support them. And But we need to make sure that they're also sort of giving back to the connection. And spirit saying, act as if chameleon spirit in number 14, breaking down to a, a five. So I do feel spirit saying it's time to change things up. I feel there have been some tough lessons to learn here. I feel there's an energy of exhaustion. It's time to close out the cycle and move forward. Trusting that spirit has got your back. Trust your intuition, trust your decision making, um, and 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 you know your worth and your value, Taurus. Okay, so let's see what this person's actions are towards you in the next couple of weeks. We get the Hierophant. There you are, Taurus. Ooh, so they're learning some lessons. Uh, they're learning from your sort of powerful energy, and the Four of Pentacles, letting go of something, not holding back any longer. They may be, they may be make, changing things up and reaching out, trying to get back on the same page, Taurus. You're going to be, you, you decide if that works, if you believe them. Four of Swords, they're restless. And the Hanged Man, some of you, they're going through a major awakening and you're going to hear about it. Make sure that this person backs up their actions with words, okay? Sorry, backs up their words with actions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, Taurus, let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Taurus, please. What would this person like to tell you? They may try to overcome obstacles and, and again, it's going to be up to you. It doesn't mean that for all of you closing out this chapter is letting this person go or not talking to them or ending the relationship. So really, really trust your intuition here. I want to be more than friends. So some of you, you may have friend zoned this person. I can't be with you. All right. And I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, they're scared. I feel this person may have been in a, I want, you know, I want my cake and to eat it too energy. Maybe they friend zoned you and you were like, fine, done. Wow. But they're not liking you leaving them behind. I miss hearing your voice. So this person is going to reach out. You've got some tough decisions here, Taurus. Um, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. If you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light Taurus. Take care.